Hi everybody, so it's been a little bit since I did a thrift haul, so I decided to do that today. And most of these things I got at uh, Goodwill, although there was a couple that I didn't get at Goodwill, and I'll let you guys know as I open those. So first up, I have this Inside Out Disney Pixar, um, I think this is like a Funko Pop mini, mystery mini. And this I actually did not get at a thrift store. I got this second hand, so it wasn't new, and it was pretty cheap. But I did buy it from uh, a previous owner. So we'll go ahead and open it. And I already knew which character it was before I got it because it was the one I really wanted, which was Bing Bong. I really wanted the Bing Bong, and I wanted the Bing Bong that was crying candy. So I was really excited to get this for a good price, and, you know, that way I didn't have to buy tons of the mystery boxes trying to get the one I want. The uh, other one I would really love to have from this series is the Sadness that is lying down which you can see her right there and uh, she's pretty expensive like even second hand looking online and stuff she's kind of expensive so I don't know if I'll get her anytime soon or not but we'll see but I just I love this little uh, bing bong he's probably my second favorite character from the movie after sadness although I don't know he may be first because I just think he's adorable and we have a really fat cat that after we saw the movie, we started calling him Bing Bong. So it kind of reminds me of uh, my cat, too. So that's something kind of cute. And then this is the other thing that I didn't get from a thrift store. I got this from our local Myers um, from their bargain discount uh, toy section. So they have these uh, Sick Bricks blind bags, and they were marked down to $1.24. So I decided to get one because I've never actually gotten one. And uh, since they have this little opening here, I can kind of tell what it was. It looks like kind of like an emo goth type guy, which I love that kind of stuff. I'm really into, like, emo goth kind of creepy stuff. So let's go ahead and open it. And, yeah, he's got, like, a little, I think those things are called anks, the uh, little Egyptian cross that he comes with. And then he's got like a skull and bones on his shirt and got black hair, red eyes. So yeah, he definitely looks kind of emo gothish. And like I said, I've never had one of these before. I think they come apart. Yeah, they do. So I may try to get some more of these in the future, but I think they're cute and I like this one. I wish that they would have had uh, like the wizard guy, this guy, but they didn't. Um, they had like the pink girl, they had the emo guy. They had, uh, I think, this guy, the silver guy, and I'm not sure. I think they had this guy, too, the red-haired dude. But I was happy to get that one. I like it okay. And then I'm going to pick this back up because it fell over. And this is a Barbie Life in the Dream House doll that I got at Goodwill. And I think this was, like, maybe 49 cents or something. It was really cheap. But I didn't happen to have this one from the Barbie Life in the Dream House uh, collection, so I decided to get it. I have, uh, like, a brown-haired one from that series, and I have the Barbie, and I have the horse, which is probably my favorite from that series, is the, uh, the pony that came with it. But she's pretty. I like, um, black hair is probably my favorite color of hair, so I've always liked uh, black-haired dolls. And her name is Raquel. So I like her outfit too. I like the black skirt because black is my favorite color, which is probably why I like black hair the best because, you know, it's my favorite color. So she's really cute. So pretty cool uh, addition to that collection. And then another McDonald's toy that I found at Goodwill was one of these uh, My Little Pony Pinkie Pies. And I think this was from the last collection, maybe like 2015 or something. I'm trying to find a year. Oh, 2014 it says. So yeah, it wasn't too long ago. And it was 39 cents. So, And I think the only one I have from this collection actually is uh, Fluttershy because I have so many McDonald's My Little Ponies and I was kind of sick of eating at, my, at McDonald's at that time so I didn't really buy a whole lot of them. And that was before I knew you could really buy them by themselves without the food. So here we have the Pinkie Pie. And the thing I do like about this version is I like the little yellow 
streaks in her hair. I think those are really cute. And then she has like yellow streaks in her tail too, which is pretty cool. So I'll be uh, happy to add her to my uh, pretty large <laughs> McDonald's My Little Pony collection. So she's cute. And eventually I'm sure I'll get all of them because I pick them up at thrift stores all the time. So even if I don't get them from McDonald's, I know eventually I'll probably find them all at thrift stores. And then this is from actually a recent McDonald's uh, promotion that was like around this Valentine's Day. And this is the Happy Valentine's Day Mouse book. So I'll go ahead and open that. And this I actually did get at McDonald's recently when I had a Happy Meal, but I decided to share it in this uh, video. And it comes with like little Valentine's cards, which are cute. And let's see. Be mine, you are sweet. Just very cute stuff. And these are the characters from um, that book series, like... Uh, you know, if you give a pig a cupcake, or if you give a moose a muffin, or if you give a mouse a cookie, or um, all those books. And I'm sorry if I got the titles wrong. I can't remember exactly what each animal eats. But this is a cute little book. Um, it's about Mouse making valentines for all of his friends. So you can see it's a good quality book for, you know, just being a McDonald's giveaway thing. And I love cat, but, you know, you kind of expect that if you know me because I adore cats. So it's cute. And then uh, at the end of the book, there's uh, where you can make your own, like, greeting cards. And then there's also a couple of puzzles. So I thought that was pretty cool. Okay, here's the other books. Yeah, if you give a mouse a cookie, if you give a moose a muffin... Uh, if you give a pig a pancake, okay, so it was a pancake, not a cupcake. I guess it's the cat that got the cupcake. But, yeah, so pretty cool stuff. And then I got a few other books at Goodwill, too, so I'll share those. Put the doll over there. I have this uh, middle grade book, Crispin, The Cross of Lead, by, I think her name is Avi. I'm not sure. I, I never actually have heard her name said out loud, so I'm not sure how it's actually pronounced. If you know, let me know. But this is a uh, Newbery Medal winning book. And usually the Newbery winning medal books are good. And uh, this is about a story that takes place in medieval England when a 13-year-old boy uh, who lost his home and his family and all of his possessions gets accused of a crime he didn't commit. And so it's just kind of all about his tale and, you know, what happens as he escapes because uh, he could be killed on sight if he's found. So it sounds pretty exciting, so I'm excited to give that a try. And then another book that I found that I decided to give a try is Calendar Mysteries May Magic by Ron Roy. And I've read, uh, I think, one in this series before. It was the one about uh, the author. There's like a mystery involving an author. But that's the only one I've read so far for this series. But I thought I'd give it another try. I mean, these are really quick reads. And, you know, I thought I'd see if I like it any. So it looks kind of cute and interesting. And then I got this book, which um, one thing I do like to get is, like, old, like, 80s, 90s kids books. And I think partly that's because I grew up during that era. So it reminds me of my own childhood. And these weekly reader books definitely remind me of my own childhood. And so I do like to buy some of these when I can. And they're just like, you know, just old children's stories. And this one, I'll have to see when it was printed. Uh, let's see. It looks like originally it was printed in 1934. So, I mean, it was an old story originally, I guess. But the uh, text for this version is... 1988 so I would have been six when this book came out so Wonder Kid meets the evil lunch snatcher I thought it sounded like it might be kind of a funny yet corning corny kind of book corning corny <laughs> corny kind of book and I just thought it was cute and it'd make a good collection to the addition to the collection of weekly reader books that I do have so and I collect, like, old children's books that are from before my time, too. Like, I have some from as far back as the late 1800s, 
and I have like some, you know, from the 40s and 50s and 60s and stuff. And I just, I love antique kids books as much as I love, you know, the newer kids books. I just, I have a love for children's literature and just pretty much all genres of it. So I thought that would be a fun little book to read. So that's the uh, stuff I've gotten lately at thrift stores. And uh, mostly I just picked, you know, one thing up here, one thing up there. And sometimes that happens. I don't find all the stuff all at once. I just find a thing here, a thing there whenever I visit. So that's uh, this collection. And I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope you continue to watch. I hope you'll subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you all later. So bye-bye.